The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you find this video and podcast helpful. If you need some help, please feel free to call us at 515-207-2006. We offer free consultations in many areas of law, and we have several geographic locations for your convenience. We serve all of Iowa. We're also happy to meet with you and provide most legal services virtually without requiring you to leave your home. Enjoy the video. Hello, I'm Gene Nassif, an attorney here at O'Flaherty Law. My practice areas include business transactional matters as well as landlord-tenant issues and some family law. I practice here in the state of Iowa. Now today we're going to talk about what a father can do if his name is not on the birth certificate in Iowa. Now in Iowa, if a father's name is not on a birth certificate, they usually do not have any rights of a parent, absent of some other action to be taken to make them the father. The exception is if the mother and father are married at the time of birth. If they are married, Iowa law assumes that the husband is the father. This article will discuss other ways a father may establish himself as a parent if his name is not on the birth certificate. What can a mother and father do if they agree that he is the biological father? If the parents are not married, the easiest way to establish the father's parentage is for both parties to fill out what's called a paternity affidavit. This is a form commonly provided by the hospital but may also be available through the Child Support Recovery Unit. The affidavit states that the man is the biological and legal father of the child and that his name will be added to the birth certificate. However, there are many circumstances where a mother refuses to add the father to the birth certificate. Should this happen, the law does not allow the father the right to have contact with the child or make decisions for the child. If the father does not establish himself as the biological parent, the mother will also not be able to recover child support. Is there anything a father can do before the child's birth to protect his rights? If the father is aware of the mother's pregnancy, he can file a declaration of paternity with the Iowa State Registrar of Vital Statistics. This document can be filed prior to the child's birth up until any petition for termination of parental rights is filed. The document is typically free and can be used as evidence in any action to establish paternity. If you believe the mother might be putting the child up for adoption, filing this declaration is especially important. Iowa has a registry called the Declaration of Paternity Registry. The declaration includes all the father's relevant contact information and should be updated upon any changes. It will include information about the mother. The registry is confidential, but may be accessed by the biological mother, courts, or government agencies. If the mother tries to put the child up for adoption, the parties are not married, and the paternity has not been established, the state is required to check the Declaration of Paternity Registry and notify the father of the filed adoption case. This will then allow the father to intervene, requesting his paternity be established, and contest that adoption is not in the child's best interest. This declaration is also important because it evidences the parent's interest in being a father. There's a U.S. Supreme Court case that held that the father's constitutional rights were not violated when he was not given notice of the child's adoption because he never had any significant custodial, personal, or financial relationship with the child. If the father doesn't make this declaration, they risk a similar outcome where a father would lose any rights to their child. As previously discussed, the father should also take other actions to exercise their parental rights and responsibilities. Next, what can a father do after the child's birth? If the mother refuses to put the biological father's name on the birth certificate or to sign an affidavit that he is the biological father, the father's last option is to pursue a court action. 
the father will file a petition and establish paternity of the child with the district court. Blood or genetic testing may be required to determine if the petitioner is the father. The cost of the testing is paid by one or both parents, depending on the circumstances. If an expert determines that the petitioner is in fact the biological father, the court will likely enter an order certifying the paternity. The father will then bring the certified order to the Department of Human Services Office for vital uh, of vital certificates and work with them to change the birth certificate. At that time, assuming no further order by the court, the father will then have legal rights and physical custody rights to the child. If the mother refuses to allow the child uh, visits with their father after the paternity has been established, the father will be able to initiate a custody case. What happens if the mother marries prior to the biological father's paternity being established? If the mother marries, the father may still file a statement with the court admitting the paternity of the child. If the father wishes to establish paternity solely on admission of the parties, both the mother and the individual to whom the father is married must deny the paternity. There is one case in Iowa, Calendar v. Skiles, where the court held that when a woman married another man, the punitive father had a protected liberty interest in the relationship with his biological child. The court held that the Iowa Constitution could not infringe upon his interest without providing due process. The court concluded that the punitive father was entitled to petition the court to the outcome of the presumptive father's paternity and establish his own using the procedures in Iowa Chapter 600B. However, this case also held that the father could waive the right to challenge their paternity if the parent does not demonstrate a serious and timely expression of meaningful desire to establish parenting responsibility. This is an actual desire to exercise parental rights, not a mere exercise of the right to file the action with the court. Fathers in these situations should show and maintain evidence of trying to exercise their parental rights with their child. This means trying to exercise the right of the parent to take care of, to take custody of, and to ma manage their children. It means something more than simply visiting the child and giving them an occasional gift. However, the court has distinguished cases in which the father has no knowledge that he had children or that the children were his. The court reasoned that the rights cannot be waived if the father does not yet know they exist. What if there is a termination of parental rights case against an unmarried mother? Iowa courts have held that the interest of the parents in their relationship with their children is a fundamental liberty interest protected by the 14th Amendment. There is case law in Ray BGC where the court held that the punitive father had not abandoned the child so as to permit termination of his parental rights as well. What if the father is determined to be the biological father? Is it guaranteed he will be granted paternity? In other words, if it's established that the, uh, that the person is the biological father, does that automatically mean that they will be granted paternity? In Iowa, it's not guaranteed that the biological father will be granted paternity. Generally speaking, Iowa Code 600B allows the court to preserve the paternity of the previously established father if the previously established father requests that paternity be preserved. The courts will find that the previous arrangement is in the child's best interest and establish the and the established father petitions the court to terminate the biological father's parental rights. In other words, there might be circumstances where the biological father is not actually granted paternity. As always, if you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to our office. Thank you very much, and have a nice day. Hello again, this is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you enjoyed this video and podcast. If you did, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. If you need legal help in this or any other area of law, please do not hesitate to reach out and schedule a consultation. Most consultations are free and all can be conducted remotely if you'd like. 
please email us, book online, or call us at 515-207-2006. We have many locations for your convenience. We serve all of Iowa. Thank you again for watching.